I think Nature's 47 here. I'm back to Far Cry Primal. I don't know how long this one's going to be. The last one was a little longer because of cutscenes that you can't pause kind of during, in the middle of, whatever. Hey, buddy. Uh, we're going to go see Da. I thought that there was no... There, was, there wasn't any closure for Da. And I'm glad that at this point, there's more to it. Hey. What? Haiwa Ul Bala Ul Guanta. Yeah. All right, dude. Skullfire brings slow death. Right. I could grant you fast death. Ah, see? It's a trope. Pretty predictable trope. But a good one. I mean, it makes for dramatic ness. There you go, Da. I liked Da. He was kind of a tool at first. Turned out to be kind of a nice guy. There you go, buddy. Should probably get his body moved out. Away from the village. Probably burned with the other bodies. For health type reasons. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta go talk to uh <coughs> Silo. What? Whoa. Want to dance? Cat is awesome. Winza Yoga Sakar Quarbati Sakar. Be pretty easy to cosplay as a Winja. I want to rest with you, Sila. In the, uh, you know, in the hut. In your hut. Dang it. That saddens me. Now, presumably, it's kind of left open ended as far as, like, what happens with Sila and Takar and uh, the Huntress lady. She just left. She's a little older, anyway. Still attractive, but older. And, uh, you know, it's important, like, that, that sort of relationship, that relationship, relationship that they have is a very important one throughout this, this game. But it's just hinted 
It's bare. It's really barely hinted at all that there's that sort of uh, attached, sort of deeper emotional attachment. Kind of a means to an end. What I'm a little bit confused about too is the girl that was with Ool, presumably an, another one of his his daughters, I guess. I mean, she's really she seemed really small to be uh, like the spouse kind of thing. With with Ool, you never know, uh, of course. But we'll assume, for the sake of of that whole plot line, that it was a daughter, like another sort of older daughter. Pretty cool. Very good game. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. All the collectibles were uh, actually not too bad to find. The the frustrating ones are the bracelets. Uh, you saw me find a few of them, I think. And uh, it's just like... They're... Sometimes they're hidden. Sometimes they're underwater. Sometimes they're right out in the open. It just depends on which one you happen to get to. And the stones are really easy to find, the, the, the Daisha hands. They are, especially at night, because they glow. Like you, can, you can find them very easily at night, uh, which might have been done on purpose, so you would go out at night more. It's whatever. Night's actually only scary early in the game. Then as you get more and more skills and improve your, your combat capabilities, becomes a lot better as you saw pretty pretty beast sauce and I'm curious after the credits what happens like just to see if there's anything after the credits yeah this game doesn't have anything like Far Cry 4 did where he was like hey you should probably, you should just, just stay here and wait, you know, 15 minutes or whatever, and I'll be back. <laughs> Which is awesome that it worked. I'm so glad that, that they actually did that in, in the game. Where if you actually stay and wait, and you, you'd be able to see it on the, the, the very final video I did of Far Cry 4 was me starting a new game and doing that, just sitting there, waiting for, huh, goodness, waiting for uh, Pagan men or Pagan men, whatever, uh, to arrive. And he did. It was awesome. I talked about other games, and it was a while back, so I don't, I don't remember exactly everything I talked about, but I was just chilling, shooting the shit with you guys. Having a great time. If I were talking about whatever new awesome fantasy movie was coming out, I think back then we were still sort of mid Hobbit. Maybe the second Hobbit movie was out by then, or the first one was about to come out. I don't know the time frame exactly, but awesome. I got the first season, by the way. I just got the first season of Castle, which is so good. I love anything that Nathan Fillion is in, it's just fabulous love it uh, of course stana katik or katik however you say her name i don't know she's uh she actually speaks what is it i forget what it is like russian some sort of, some sort of russian variant uh i don't know it's cool though she's super hot so look her up if you don't know who that is but I got it because I am, and I think I talked about this before, I'm a big special special features whore, I guess. <laughs> like, I love special features uh, almost more <clears throat> than the show itself. I love under like watching how it's made. The Hobbit, for example, and The Lord of the Rings have amazing 
special features where they go into very in-depth details as far as the costuming and the casting and how it was uh, like the, the whole process leading up to it I'm so glad that they did that because I love it it's it's awesome like and it's you know each section of the special features is like 12 hours of content it's like and that's each for each movie you have you know six to 12 hours of special features so your special features end up being for for one of the films about the length of two or all of the films And that's great. I just can't. There's no other kind of... It's just awesome. Love it. Boom operators. Production assistants. Here is Cat. What are you doing, buddy? Catering. All right. I would imagine that a lot of this was... Uh, was done via motion capture. Mocap, for short, for those of you that don't kind of know what that is. Now you do. Very cool. They sort of suit up in these like weird spandexy type suits with dots. And the cameras can track the dots and can then put the they can program the individual body of the of this of the three D character with respect to the dot so you can have a very fluid human mo like movement without having to step by step like frame by frame program three three dimensionality it's it's uh, very efficient actually they do it a lot they did it this is weird but they did it in the hobbit with like for smaug they they got Cumberbatch all all suited up <laughs> for his role as the dragon <laughs> with the with the the GoPro thing like right in front of his face with the tracking dots on his on his face. It's very very cool. I'm running out of things to talk about. I don't know. Oh right. Uh, I talked about this a little bit a few videos ago, but let me know if there's a game you want me to do. Uh, <clears throat> a game that... Like, I really want to do Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption at some point. It's a fantastic game. I have it. I just haven't recorded it yet. Uh, I'm working on the Tales. Some, some, some of the Tales, the Tales series. That's going to be a long series if I ever actually get around to doing it more solidly. I love, like, the amount of people. This is, we're getting back to Primal and the credits. The amount of people, and like, out of respect for everyone that worked on it, we're going to run through all of the credits, right? Which is fantastic, like. So many people worked on the game, and w so many people work on games now. The credits are super long. They're like, we're in, uh, we're 14 minutes in. And to be fair, there was a little bit before we got in, so it's probably been about 10 minutes or so of credits. And, uh, that's just a lot of folks are, are working on it. Can we? Is there a way to? No. Okay. I was just seeing if there was a way to like maybe pick the speed up a little bit. His dude name was Duck Chang. That's cool. Head of EMEA. EMEA. EMEA Media. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Counter... Countership? Not a big deal. 
I do go plug my phone in, which is all in good. Oh, I got a, uh, I got one of the new, the new 3DSs with the 3D face tracking, which is amazing, by the way. And, uh, the C stick thing, not sure how the C stick thing works just yet. <laughs> um, but it's awesome. I really like it. And I got a case. I can't show it to you, obviously, because I don't have a camera connected right now. But uh, I have a case that has, it's like ergonomic. It has all these, it has the handles, handles, so to speak, like a, like a controller would. It's kind of poofy rubberiness-ness. <sighs> Makes for very ergonomic play. It'd be hard to go back, back from it. Goodness gracious. One thing I don't like is it's, it's neoprene. The, the cover, it's like the protective cover slash ergonomic thing I have. And anything that can stick to it will stick to it. And it's just, at least for right now, it's nearly impossible to keep it clean. Once once it begins to wear a little bit, it'll, I think it'll lose that property. <sighs> Mario, Pepper Jam. Speaking of that, I need to, uh, I need to figure out a way to record my 3DS. I mean, you know, in one of the formats, and I'd rather not have to do it this way, but one of the formats is via, like, a camera on a table. I haven't done it that way because I don't really want to do that. Hey, we're at the end. But I'll have to figure something out. There's not really a, a way to do it. What? Whoa. strange she can tame creatures like me Oro still calls for me not really um we're done fabulous yeah I mean there are little side questy bits that I could do but <laughs> In general, uh, we're done. So, <sighs> until next time, guys, this has been a great game. I have loved, loved recording it for you, with you, however you prefer that format. And um, until next time, Bumblebee Tuna, and we will see you.